Hey guys, this is Rachel and we are online, the TV Prosperity Show, which I'm super excited to finally be a part of because I've seen so many others be here. So now it's finally me. And today we are literally going to be talking about your performance. You are the driver of the business. So you need to be clear, you need to be confident and you need to be getting stuff done. So we are going to show you how to do that on today's call. Welcome to yet another exciting episode of the Online Prosperity Show. And today we've got the business performance coach herself, Rachel. Rachel, how are you doing, my love? Hey, how are you going? I'm glad to be here. Fantastic. Thank you so much for your time today. Obviously, yeah. you know that when we're um, talking about these shows, we really want to help people to have a business that's profitable and enjoyable. And if you're watching this show today, it is your prerogative to find out and seek out people that can hold your hand um, while you're starting your business. Or even if you're well seasoned, there might be things that you might not see a second pair of eyes might be able to help you out there. And that's when people like Rachel come in that would help you um, be, do and have a business that's actually profitable and enjoyable. Now, did I say that right, mm. Rachel? Yeah, pretty much. I mean, it's business strategy is pretty much step by step and we can find that anywhere. But what we can't find is the driver of the business. So many people forget that you actually have to do those steps. So you're going to want to um, perform yourself personally. You're going to want to be able to control yourself emotionally. So that's, uh, that's what I'm here to do. The business strategy is a tiny bit easier than that. You're going to be the driver. So I'm here for, for you, the driver of the business. Yeah understandable exactly because every part of the business is gonna in you know it's gonna require that the main person who's running the business is all sharp it and is, yeah. a brain and a heart that is all in sync now tell us a little bit about how you help your customers when they drop in at your door sure so i do i do a combination of on some online stuff i do a combination of actually one-to-one -one coaching and i also do 12-month coaching so with me, we go through clarity first and foremost. So many people like, yeah, I want more money, but, but how much money? How much do you want? You've got to be clear on where you're going. Um, second of all, we're going to get into rituals. What are you doing every day that's actually creating that confidence? Because so many people walk around, they're like, oh, I'm, I'm just trying to be confident. I'm just trying to be this. It's like, you know, we've got to set in some rituals and, and train what we're doing every single day so we can perform. Um, and then, of course, we break through their barriers. We break through their fears. It's a big one. There's too much um, holding everyone back. And, of course, just empowering you to get that done. Sometimes you need a bit of a kick up the ass, and, and that's what I'm here to do. Understandable. So you literally give yeah. people a workout in their business because you can't do well if you don't feel well in there, right? So let's go back that's to exactly one, it. one of the things that you're talking about, clarity, okay? Mm -hmm. I thought I had 2020 vision, you know, and they said I didn't need glasses. Is that the sort of um, vision that you have, you help people see um, in their business? What sort of clarity are you talking about? Sure. So obviously you don't want to be blind, but I mean vision more so that in 12 months, where do you want to be? How much, like if you were to wake up on your perfect day in 12 months time from now on an actual day, what exactly would you be doing? How much are you making? Are you making 5,000, 5,500? Are you with the kids? Are you at your job? Are you walking the dog? Are you work, working out three times a week? You have to be so, so clear on what it is you want so you can actually put a yardstick in the ground and go for it because so many people are like, oh, you know, I'd, I'd like to have more clients. Well, what exactly is that vision for you? Is it three clients? Is it 30 clients? It's about getting specific on what that goal is for you, not just having goals, but knowing exactly what that goal would be, what it would feel like, exactly what it would look like. And then you've got half a chance of getting there. It's the biggest mistake that I'm seeing so many people make is there's such broad vision. And then, of course, you're just walking around in circles because you're not actually sure. Okay, cool stuff. Obviously, now that the, the, the person in the driver's seat has so much vision, um, while you were talking, I just remembered a <laughs> phrase that that's the reason why the windscreen is wider than the rear view mirror, okay? So if you've got a really clear vision <laughs> yeah, so you where never look going, back. of where you're going, it will make you... Definitely, definitely. As to, as to where you, you're going. Now... Obviously, as humans, we are creatures of habit, all right? Are you talking rituals, me mm. being African, and I'm 
clapping my hands and talking in my weird language. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and, and asking for the rain to come. Are those the rituals Look, that you... <laughs> sure. If, if that's the ritual you want, I mean, we obviously... <laughs> that's, yeah, perfect saying it to you, isn't it? But um, well, we are creatures of habit. It gets back to being that simple. We're all trying to find success in any little hole. But it's like you are a creature of habit. If we can build you to have that confidence on demand, we do that through rituals. It's like every morning I do a, I think it's 11 minutes and 45 seconds. I actually go through a visualization of how I want to be feeling and how I want to be speaking to myself. So it's a deliberate time, a deliberate time to fill my head with that stuff. And that's what I call a ritual, doing that nonstop. As in, you know, you jump on at two o'clock every day. It's just a ritual for you and you must do it. That's what we've got to be doing for our emotional health and the driver of our business, not just walking around hoping this shit happens. It's my morning ritual every day and then I meditate a couple of times a week um, and then it's a night time. I have a night ritual, which I'm literally starting to fill my head with the stories deliberately every single night. So, yeah, it's kind of ritual because it's a must. It's one of those things you definitely do regardless, yeah. No, definitely. That's, that's pretty imperative because I want to ask you one other question. If you've got an orange and you cut it in half, yeah. if you squeeze it, what comes out of it? If you squeeze it, what happens? Yes. If you squeeze an orange, you what comes out for a sec? Yeah. If you squeeze yeah. an orange, what comes out of it? The juice. All right. And it's orange juice, right? Juice comes out. Right. Would you, yeah. would you anticipate that if you squeezed an orange juice, you would get apple juice out of it? I wouldn't really expect that, no. Exactly. So I was just trying to elaborate your point that if you're not doing the rituals or doing the things that will enhance yeah. your performance, then your mind is not going to be calibrated and work when you want it on yeah. demand. So yeah. pretty much it works out it's like so that. So many people just thinking, even for, for you and I who you know, are on our way to being super successful, it doesn't just happen. We have things in place to make it happen. And and so many people forget that you have to do that. Great stuff. And one of the things that you help people with yeah. is break through their fears. All right. So one of the biggest fears yeah. speaking in public or being in front of cameras or videos, um, how is that mm -hmm. quite limiting anybody else that you're dealing with in their business if they're not able to speak to, to people they're going to be getting money off of? Well, definitely, because they start... You know, no one knows who you are until you get on camera. No one knows who you are until you put yourself out there. And that can be super daunting, but it is the number one thing we need to be doing. So we have to be able to get through those beliefs of I'm not good enough. So you can get on camera and you can start taking the action because it does go away over time, that fear. But it's the biggest driver of your business. So if you're not doing it because of personally being afraid, then that's right where you've got to start understandable so it's clarity and the rituals and getting rid of fear and then does that automatically yeah. make me the next best millionaire on on on, on online look or? if you put it all into if you put it all into action for a long period of time sure sure breaking through fears isn't just one thing like fears a hundred different things that's holding you back from doing anything so it's always going to be a work in progress but if you were to do this every single day for a long period of time Absolutely. You'd have the courage to take the action. Then you take the action and of course you have the result. So very much so you could. Yeah. Okay. Does the product that I'm going to be selling matter in this whole process? Um, if I'm <clears throat> all good and um, you know, I'm in tune, I'm clear, I've got my rituals all going. Does the product actually matter? It does. Yeah, it does to an extent like you, your product is obviously going to be what you do best. So your product not, might not be what my product is best. So it doesn't matter in that regards, but it does matter that your product is profit. You make what you do profitable. You've got to be doing that. Um, and that you know how to set that up with structure also. So the product does matter to the extent that it's got to, it's got to be able to go out into the market and it's got to fill a solution. And then of course you be the perfect person to back it. But yeah, it does matter. It plays a big part if you do it right. Great stuff. Well, this, this has been fantastic. And obviously, whoever has been watching this um, and following us, first of all, you should subscribe to this channel. And second of all, it's people like Rachel that would be able to help you actually figure out where you're going with your business, that you are mm. so clear about, you know, um, the next steps that you have to take and also what you have <laughs> to do in order to garner those, um, you know, um, results that you're looking for and your reach walls 
constitutes mm-hmm. all the habits that you're automatically doing every single day because Rome wasn't built in a day. Whatever you do today is literally going to translate into the results and the outcomes that you will get in the future. And if you're going to be afraid of the camera or if you're going to be afraid <laughs> of talking to public well, behind the screen, that's where all the money leaves. All right. So do you have um, a way that people can get a hold of you, Rachel, just in case they were watching and they were intrigued about yeah. um, all this information that we just uh, dropped right now? Yeah, definitely. Well, Facebook page is the most um, contactable place for me. So, you know, Facebook dash, dash Rachel Corova, which I'm sure will be posted um, above or if I'm tagged in it. But My name, literally jump in there and personal message me is the best way to get a hold of me at this point. I love interacting with you personally because that's what matters most. So if you definitely reach out, questions, queries, all that sort of stuff, that's where I'll be for sure. Understandable. So as business people, we're here to learn, we're here to leave, and we're here to contribute. And any of those things, you really want to make sure that you're clear on what you're doing and you're consistent and your rituals and you have no limiting beliefs that might inhibit you um, from going any further. Now, Rachel, thank you so much for your time today. And um, yeah, hope to be seeing you a lot, a lot from you in the future. Yeah, I hope to um, be seeing a lot more of you as well and, and doing some work together. That looks good. Thank you so much. You've, you've done this before, haven't you? <laughs> Maybe, yeah. Uh, <laughs> do you know well, that's what happens when you do it. That's what happens when you do a lot of videos, you know, you get used to it. <laughs>